Well, Dave, Gary DiCarlo, he owns DiCarlo's Banquet Hall and Convention Center right behind me here in Warren. And tonight he's telling me he's not a racist after he shared a, poll, a post criticizing Black Lives Matter. He says he made a mistake and now he's hoping for a second chance. I just made the biggest mistake of my entire life. I'm not a racist, never have been. Um, and I made a mistake. And I take full responsibility for it. Gary DiCarlo issuing an apology after sharing this post on social media that says Black Lives Matter. The entire country is sick of your expletive, sick of the lawlessness, sick of the riots, sick of the threats and demands. The only thing you've managed to accomplish in all of this is to live up to the ghetto stereotypes. Congratulations. I didn't write the post. I just shared it. And I seen and it says Black Lives Matter, and I didn't read it real close, and I shared it. And it wasn't meant to hurt anybody or upset anybody. The Post now having an effect on his business, as some are canceling events they had planned at the banquet hall. That's not a joke. It's too much going on in the world. So, you know, to, to put such a meme on Facebook like that, to degrade us like that, and we're fighting hard to keep our history and our legacy going, just like anyone else in other cultures. Tanisha Austin says her family used to Carlos Banquet Hall in the past and never had any issues. In fact, they even recommended it. But after seeing this post, Tanisha says her wedding and reception won't happen there. They all say the same thing. You can't make mistakes like that. That's just unacceptable. I'm not making mistakes calling other races out their names. I respect the respect. Gary says he's not a racist and is hoping someone can learn from his mistake. And maybe somebody could learn to read these posts better before they share them. Hopefully somebody can learn from my stupid mistake. And Tanisha tells me that she did make a deposit here at the banquet hall. She's hoping that she gets that deposit back. As for Gary, he says when he shared that post, that wasn't him. That doesn't represent his business or the employees that work for him. Reporting live tonight in Warren, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.